so this is the looming, and so your zero one ac actually can be really, really uh, flat, and so it's more or less sensitive to the flux noise. So this could be one of uh, one of the interesting uh, uh, qubits in the future. I mean, what's been uh, lack, uh, what what's been need to be improved is the process of uh, doing this fabrication or how to make these uh, inductance really large with a small the capacitance. Okay. So with that, with this knowledge, that's uh, going to talk about the some progress of uh, these uh, flux noise superconducting qubits. So one thing, one important, uh, and borrow uh, one of the paper from uh, Professor Oliver's uh, group. And so this is the uh, review of the, the improvement of uh, T1 and T2 of the various uh, different superconducting qubits, uh, including the bosonic, uh, uh, bosonic uh, uh, cold uh, the, uh, qubits. And so this, uh, this uh, Fosonian, 3D Fosonian is uh, somewhere around here. So it's getting improved. And actually, for the, for, the, for, the, for the quantum processor, what you need is you not only need like a large number of uh, qubits, but you also need those qubits with the high coherence time. And so uh, currently, Fosonian qubit indeed is one of the uh, highest uh, coherence uh, qubit. So the reason of that is, uh, well, it's, uh, been this, uh, it's been written out in this paper. So by comparing all these uh, like a potential features, actually for the for the uh, for the transmon, it's it's this uh, heavy charge mode, and so the wave function is uh, spread it into this uh, charge space, and so therefore, when once you have offset charge, well, this transition frequency is not that sensitive to this offset charge. So for the same reason, you can use this uh, light uh, flux mo uh, flux mode, and so for some of the Poissonian or Brockian, is uh, uh, it's this type. The other one is uh, this uh, heavy flux uh, 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 heavy flux mode, which means which is uh, the potential that you use is having like a very large uh, mass of the of the particle in a very deep uh, uh, well right here, and so each uh, each wave function is localized in each uh, wave uh, in each uh, uh, local well right here, and so the transition between these two are almost forbidden, and so that is uh, intrinsic the uh, protection for the T1. So this is the so-called this is the intrinsic protection uh, for that one. So it's been listed out actually with these uh, uh, Floresonian type of uh, qubits. Actually, there are various uh, different uh, protections uh, compared to compared to transmon. So it could be useful. Uh, however, if you look at it for the Floresonian itself, actually for the T1 protection, it's uh, absent. It's not. Uh, it's except uh, for these uh, heavy Floresonian uh, heavy flux mode. It's it's not that it's not that being protected. However, why people keep uh, measuring this high coherence? Well, that is because, uh, uh, well, because uh, the at this uh, half of quanta or this uh, the so-called sweet spot of the Fosonian, the qubit transition frequency typically is low. And actually, this is uh, and then there is uh, like a omega square uh, dependence uh, compared uh, to the to the one over t one. So if the frequency is lower, then actually. This uh, T1 is much more deco decoupled to the to the dielectric loss, and so therefore, uh, even though if the even though if you don't have a very good uh, dielectric uh, uh, material or like uh, the background is uh, still kind of lossy, but you still can have a pretty good the T1 because of the low frequency. Okay, and so this is uh, one of uh, my previous uh, work that uh, we showing that uh, at this low this uh, trend it's uh, following this uh, this uh, trend uh, showing right here. And uh, because of these uh, going lower frequency, then you all have this benefit to immune or like less sensitive to the dielectric loss. And so next is, uh, so here is uh, one of the results that you in the, uh, for the Fosonian for, for the, for the in the 3D cavity on the silicon substrate. And uh, well, we typically can show that the T1 and T2 are pretty easily go above 100 and 200 microseconds. And so there's a uh, uh, one paper that published uh, last year that uh, this uh, 3D Fosonian on sapphire, and uh, this uh, reached to the T1 and T2 all, all above uh, one millisecond. So this is the current uh, world record for the uh, superconducting qubits uh, coherence time. And the uh, single qubit gate fidelity is uh, reached to 499.991%. So not only in the coherence time, but also there are various uh, different uh, achievement in the two qubit gate. Uh, one is uh, this is also done by my previous group, such I use a very simple uh, capacitive coupling between two qubits. And then with that, 
then this high order transition will have interaction and repel to each other such that two one and one two will have uh, this repulsion, the frequency will shift, and such that make the one zero to two zero and one one to two one transition have different frequency. So with that, then actually you can achieve the, the CV gate and then with the gate fidelity 99.2% and uh, the specialty of this one is all microwave active the, uh, uh, gate without the using like floods to tune the frequency. And, 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 then, and then for the last year, these two papers uh, is uh, now it's the state of art for the two cubic gates. One is the by uh, David Schuster's uh, group uh, that uh, they use uh, this uh, tunable coupler to couple two Fossonian, two heavy Fossonian qubits, and then they are able to uh, reach to, to have these uh, uh, square root of a uh, uh, bi swap gate, uh, b swap gates uh, with the gate fidelity of 99.91%. And so this is uh, the work uh, uh, done in Professor William Oliver's uh, group that uh, couple two Fossonian qubits with the uh, with transmon qubit. And so with this uh, as a coupler, then they're able to achieve the CV gate, gate fidelity 99.92%. So this is, uh, this is the current state of art uh, experiment. All right. So actually you have a uh, high coherence, you have two qubit gates, then what about the what's what's the what about the future? So unfortunately, right now the most uh, qubits that have been demonstrated, or the quantum process that have been demonstrated, or in, or have published, is only half like a two qubits uh, uh, put it together, uh, and then showing these uh, two qubit gates. And so uh, so one, but is it able to do the scaling up? One is yes, it's possible. So. Uh, uh, like two years ago, the, uh, my previous colleague alone now is in, in UC Berkeley. Now he put it out a, 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 a blueprint of a scaling up of these Fossonian qubits. And then this, the architecture using this uh, a square lattice-like uh, 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 structure is uh, because uh, it's useful for, uh, uh, for the surface code, the error correction code. And so, and then so he has a uh, like planet such that uh, between uh, two two Fossonian qubits, you can have uh, these kind of uh, multiple multi-path uh, coupler coupling. That is because uh, well, for Fossonian qubits, you can do the coupling with the capacitive coupling and also inductive coupling easily because you have these large uh, inductors. And so on the right hand side, uh, so so indeed this uh, this is uh, well this uh, scaling up is on on its way. There are thoughts. But actually, it's require people to make it make it work. So on the right hand side, there's a one recent, very recent uh, work that the people also showing that well, even at the integer first quantum of the qubit, that uh, that uh, this uh, qubit it's also very useful. And so uh, because uh, because of uh, on the one state of uh, the if you tune the parameter correctly, the wave function overlap uh, with the zero qubits uh, with the zero state is uh, minimized because of uh, the these uh, these uh, excited states right here are the other uh, like the states that localized in the in the these uh, two uh, flux wells uh, that it's not the uh, it's not the same as the ground state and so this uh, with this uh, with this one actually the t1 can be achieved easily above uh, 100 microseconds and so this integer first quanta with a frequency that very close to uh, uh, very close to the, very close to the to the transmon, it's also very useful with the high coherence. So, with the very last uh, minutes, let me just uh, directly show a little bit our work in the uh, Tsinghua University. So, right now in Tsinghua, we have our ability to fabricate our own Fossonian qubits, and I mean, I'm still using this uh, uh, 3D cavity to to testing this uh, fabrication uh, process, and then so to optimize it. And so the best the T1 that we get is above 100 microsecond. T2 is 50 microsecond. We're still optimizing it, and actually we are switching this uh, uh, substrate to 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 uh, sapphire. So uh, please stay tuned that in the future we will update it if we have a better uh, better uh, number right here. And so uh, the other one is uh, uh, we also interested it in to make it to become a 2D uh, Fossonian. But uh, for the 2D now. I, one important thing is uh, the material, and so we're collaborating with uh, uh, with other people, especially Professor Hong Minghui in in National Taiwan University. They have this MBE growth, and then so they are able to grow a very uh, sharp uh, interface uh, between sapphire and aluminum. And also, we are able to institute capping 
with the log size for the protection. And so we're able to making the uh, a microstrip resonator with the quality factor at the uh, a single photon limit above 